Welcome to OVM Radio and OVM TV. It's a pleasure having you there connected with us. We have a very special program for you in sharing your vision with our special guest. We will be talking to Susan Summons, a six-time Hall of Fame recipient, two-time MDC and O Teaching Chair Award recipient, retired professor, world-renowned famed, well-respected, and nationally acclaimed motivational speaker, radio personality, educator, WBL women's pro basketball legend, top 100 most influential sports educator in America, top 50 South Florida Legacy Magazine Miami Herald, professional, national coach of the year, three-time USA Olympic basketball assistant coach, a woman of many cross-career expertise in areas like wellness, health, culture, sports, education, self-improvement, motivation, leadership, team, and staff performance. Susan Speeches motivates you to change lives, invoke action, increase performance, and achieve success. In short, you will rise with results after hearing Susan's speeches to win in life. Embrace power of passion and engage in the inner success, your inner success. Welcome, Susan. Oh, thank you, Elaine. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor. It's an honor for us to have you. I've enjoyed every minute since I've met you, and I'm sure the audience is going to be amazed as well. Well, I really appreciate the moment, and one of the things we were talking about before we went live was the importance of being grateful and having gratitude. How important is that today? And in today's society, in today's globe, in today's world, it's relevant. It is so significant to, to live in gratitude, to understand the importance and relevance of being grateful, just grateful to wake up, grateful to be able to say, thank God, I'm alive. Grateful to say thank you to someone who's done something for you, just Something as simple as, you're welcome, good morning, hello. You, you never know when you meet someone what they're going through. And it's so important to be kind to them, to share kind words, because maybe your words may have changed their life or changed the moment in their life or changed the darkness to light that they may have been experiencing in that moment. So it's important when you meet people to Susan, be kind. I've had the opportunity to tell our audience your many achievements. You have such an authority when you speak, especially when you're trying to connect with people and bring the best of each and every one. Let's go back in time. Let's start from the beginning so people can embrace a lot of what you went through when you started in this beautiful career, basketball and everything else that has come along. It's a big ensemble. So you start. Well, it's, it's been a journey. And one of the things that's important is that you try to remember each step on that journey. And everything that you do in life, every experience you have in life prepares you for the next. It prepares you for the next journey. For me, as a woman, um, there wasn't a lot of opportunities for me when I was growing up to play sports, to be involved in sports. There wasn't really a lot of role models. In fact, there weren't any female role models when I was growing up to understand. I didn't see anyone on the television screen that looked like me. I didn't see anyone on the news or on the shows as a woman that, that looked like me, that I would even say, oh, I want to be like her. I, I want to do what she's doing. If she's a news reporter or a sports announcer or a broadcaster or a professional women's basketball player, I can be that. I didn't see those role models. I grew up with male 
dominated role models in male leadership positions. I grew up around the NBA Boston Celtics, which anyone that, that's familiar with sports and familiar with the history of professional sports, you know the Boston Celtics, multiple NBA championships, uh, Red Allback, uh, Tom Heinsohn, uh, John Havlicek, Jojo White. These are some of the names, Nate Archibald, and uh, these are Bob Cousy. These are some of the historical names. But I grew up, grew up around that environment. Um, you know, I'm from a poor neighborhood, and we use sports, and I use sports as a vehicle to help with my education. I'm from a family of seven, six girls, one boy. My brother was in the Vietnam War, and it was six girls, and my mother raised us. But I shared the story very quickly on what really ignited the passion, because I want to talk about passion as well, the power of passion, is when I was a little girl, I used to travel with my mother. When she went on her job, on the bus and the train, and I'm from Boston, so it was extremely cold, a lot of ice, snow, and wind. And we would travel on the train and the bus to some of the suburbs to my mother's job where she would clean houses. And as a little girl, about seven or eight, I remember that moment. I remember going into the house and watching my mother get a, a pail of water and rags and sponges. And I remember standing there feeling a little pain in my stomach. And I thought maybe at that time I had a stomach ache. Something was wrong. And I remember that day that I was highly motivated just from watching her on what she was doing. But another moment occurred in my life, another life-changing moment. When I traveled with the United States Olympic Sports Festival team and World Championship team to Israel, Tel Aviv, Israel. And while we were there, we traveled to Jerusalem and we walked on the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem where Jesus walked. And I remember we continued to walk and we saw this huge wall. We kneeled down. I had a little piece of paper in my pocket. I pulled it out. I asked one of my teammates in the U.S. delegation, do you have something to write with or scribble my name? She said, yes. And she gave it to me. I scribbled my name. I folded the piece of paper up and I inserted it in the Western Wall in Jerusalem. In that moment in time. And I knew that there was destiny for me. There was purpose. And at that time, when we left, there was a, a, a feeling of ambition, of passion, of gratitude. And that same pain that I remember feeling in my stomach when I was seven, I felt at that moment. And I knew it was ambition. It was passion. It was perseverance. It was drive. It was blessings. There was more. There was more for me to do. And I knew at that point, and I remember saying to myself, I want to grow up to be somebody. I want to be somebody that's going to help people, that's going to change the world, one voice, one message, or one person at a time. I didn't know how I would do it. I didn't know where I would be, but I knew whatever, wherever I was, it would be like a ministry, a form of ministry, and, and God would have it. I would go into the coaching profession out of the women's professional basketball career. I used to be a police officer. I was in the United States Army as a military, honorable discharge. I went to college. The sports and the basketball scholarship paid for my education. That was the only way I could have done it. And I ended up in coaching, which took me in a completely different journey. But through that coaching was a ministry of helping people, of motivating students, of helping them graduate and mentoring them, all students from everywhere, and also becoming a professor, a college professor at a young age, founding and starting the health and wellness program in Boston at a community college, Roxbury Community College, 
And then God would put in my path an opportunity to take a job right here in Miami, Florida. <laughs> Imagine that at Miami-Dade College, 35 years ago, 35 years ago, and I have been training, mentoring, facilitating, motivating, inspiring students from all cultures, from all walks of life, to be champions in life, not just for a day, not just for a week, but for a lifetime. Now that I have you at that moment, is there a testimony that you can give us today about that passion that you so possess? I mean, I'm, I'm actually connecting with you. <laughs> I'm excited to just step up and do something. <laughs> you know, the passion, there are a number of testimonies but I'm gonna share one. But passion is a fuel that ignites your fire. We all have a superhero that has superpowers in us, but we have to tap into that fire. But the passion helps to fuel that fire and ignite your success and recognize it. You have to recognize it. You have to own it. It's also a part of faith. You know, what good is passion if you're not faithful in your journey? And I brought a book with me. I read a variety of different books along my journey. I brought this book because this was given to me as a gift by one of my students. And sometimes we should step back and reflect on self-discovery also directly relates to your passion. Because when we step back and reflect and we take inventory and we remember the impact we had, whose life we changed, whose life we touched, today, you and I touching each other's life, touching the people's life that's listening to this program. Thankful for OVM radio and TV and Elaine and of course, Nichelle Hastings of Rise our in sister. Perspective in Living with Gratitude, our sister who brought us together. We talk about love, but this book is entitled 40 Days and 40 Nights. And I thought the title was very significant when you look at the history of Jesus and his evolution and God and what he went through in the 40 days and 40 nights. And this book appeared to me and I thought, I opened it and it's talking about taking a time out for self-discovery. But when I opened it, I saw a passage and I need to read this, very profound. It says, Dear Professor Summons, Coach Summons as we call you, when I first signed up for your class a hundred years ago, the student is smiling. I have to admit that I was looking for an easy A. From the first day, I knew that I would not be that case, along with the challenging each and every one of us to be a better person, a better self. You have inspired me in so many ways. Your positive attitudes towards us encouraged all of us around you to keep going to overcome, to persevere as a student and deal with any obstacle we may face, you have created a new standard for my teachers that we'll have to live up to. I thought teachers like you didn't exist. And I'm vowed at the commitment you've given your students. You demanded great things from us but are human enough to realize we all have a million and one things going on at once. You are real, you were fair, you were someone who never tried to put anyone down. You just continue to encourage us. I am sad to see you go so soon, truly regret. So many people need to know you. So many people need to know you. This university needs more professors like you. I hope you enjoy this book and that you use it as a tool 
You help me realize that I'm special. Thank you for giving me that. I will never forget you. 40 days and 40 nights taking time for self-discovery. And I thought it was very significant I bring that. I was empowered with a message spiritually from God who said, bring that book and read just a portion of that passage, a portion of that testimony. Here's another testimony. I'm a coach. I've coached a great many of student athletes. They're everywhere in South Florida, doctors, teachers, lawyers, police officers, detectives, coaches, Dade County Public School teachers. But there's a student who came in my gym one afternoon to try out. When I first took this job 35 years ago, and I said, well, this student has grit, leadership skills, strength, courage. I can massage that. I can mentor it. I can cultivate it. I, that student is going to be somebody. I can strengthen that. And I need a 6-2 center to help me win a state championship. And that student was from Hialeah. And I said, you're going to try out. This is a grueling workout. She made the workout she attended, made the team. We gave her a scholarship. She ended up being one of my captains. She is now the president of Miami-Dade College, Madeline Pumariega. Wow, amazing. It's wonderful. That's a testimony yes. of evolution of the journey. Seeing something in someone Seeing that passion, that fire, that vision, that spiritual light and fire and cultivating it and letting them know you could tap into it. You can get it. Believe. If you believe, you can achieve. To fulfill that dream. You can fulfill that dream, Elaine. And that's what Madeline Pumayega did. She is the president of Miami-Dade College, the first woman president in the history of one of the greatest institutions of higher education in the globe. My former student athlete, my center, who led me to a state championship women's basketball appearance. That's, it gives me goosebumps. I had, I'm inspired and it continues to ins it motivate me to touch lives because that's a testimony among many. There's so many, but I'm humble. You need to return. There's so much to talk about and in this time, uh, especially, there's so much going on around the world that we need to nurture people and we need to tap into that passion that they so have if they only gravitate to it. Absolutely. and. Sometimes Dalai Lama talks about people focusing more on what you have versus what you don't have. The Dalai Lama. And sometimes we are so distracted by the noise around us that we forget to even recognize yes. the beauty of what we have and take pride in that and be grateful for in gratitude for what we have. We miss the happiness. Yes, we have a lot of resources that people tap into yes. and they kind of gravitate to that yes. rather than their own self ability to do great things. Yes. So I'm all for it. I would love for you to give a message to our audience. Well, the message I would give to the audience is passion is your fuel to ignite your power of success, your passion. You have it in you. You have a superhero that has superpowers. Don't listen to the noise around you. 
Now, focus on the positive behaviors and the positive feelings. Don't let the negative behaviors around you and the negative noise around you drown out the positive voices that you're getting, the positive vibrations, the positive feeling of self-discovery, your passion, and fueling your fire comes from your passion, and you have it. That's, right. That's why you're alive. God sends you those messages in spirit, and if you listen to the quiet, if you listen to the quiet and you're still, and you self-discover, you will hear the message, understand your purpose, light the fire and pilot you have, feel the flame and experience the passion. And go get what's yours. And as a woman, <laughs> yes, we're in Women's History Month, we're in International Women's Leadership yes. Month. As women, go get what's yours. Unmute your voice, be heard. You are a leader. You have a right to sit at the table. Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> what are the social outlets for media, any phone number, any information that you would like to give so people can connect directly with you? If someone would like to connect directly with me, they can contact me through my website, which is SusanSummonSpeaks.com. They can follow me on social media at Susan Summons Facebook, Susan Summons LinkedIn, Susan Summons Twitter, and Susan Summons Inter in Instagram. And um, if they go to my Susan Summons YouTube channel, they can subscribe to my Susan Summons YouTube channel. And I can't thank you enough, Elaine, and OVM Radio and TV, and your supporting amazing staff for this production and this moment in time. And I would be remiss if I didn't also say thank you to Nichelle Hastings, our sister yes. of Rise in Perspective and Living in Gratitude for giving us the opportunity and bringing us together as sisters and so hugs. Much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this special program. Share it. It's just an inspiring moment in time. And it's so nice to give a gift to someone that will need uh, this uplifting, this moment, to be able to connect with themselves, with uh, the dreams they have, to ignite that passion that will take them there. I want to bless you today. I encourage you as well to visit our website at ovmradio.com. There is more of Susan Summons there and our social network, which is Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I will meet you again on our next episode real soon, sharing your vision. Take care. God bless you.